come over here to buy anything like this, did no, we? No, no, this is a little bit bigger we, than we thought. Yeah. I suppose it was almost love at first sight. We looked at 46 properties and we'd kind of given up hope to find in the right one and we sat in the car <laughs> and we looked up at that tower, didn't we? Oh, that was it. And it was a revelation and that moment of dread where you think, this is the one, but yeah. this is going to be a lot of work. <laughs> Most people would be quite daunted with the amount of work that, that there is to do. And there are some times when I look out and I suddenly have a panic attack and think, oh, my God, you know, the budget we've got, where are we going to get to? But it's just so exciting. I don't think there's been a day when I thought, I don't want to do this anymore. I know it's been a limited time, um, and, you know, I've probably still got my rose-tinted spectacles on, but this is the best job I've ever had. The best job I've ever had.
two. Team of two. Well, um, I, I don't want to be cliched and say that Lisa's the boss, but Lisa's the boss. Our budget doesn't run to probably the money we need to put into this, and we're probably talking about half a million to bring it back. To everything done, being everything being finished, we're talking about half a million. And we've got 80,000. <laughs> People would have called us, you know, foolhardy to take on this project with the budget that we've got. But when you, you know, the heart wants what the heart wants. For both of us, this is a long haul project. We didn't come into this lightly, but we knew that we couldn't get it done in five minutes. We know there is a time scale, a time scale and a, we are time sensitive in some ways. But we're in this for the long haul, aren't we? We are. <laughs> You think back to 700 years ago, how long did it take them to build this yeah. place without yeah. the technology that we have now, without the machinery we, we have now, with their hands? You build properties today to last, what, you know? 50 years, maybe, if you're 50, lucky. 50, 100 years, if you're lucky. 700 years on, and we're able to move into it. And yes, we have a lot of work to do, but actually, the actual stability of the property is sound. It's really quite difficult to put into words how amazing it is to be able to live in a place like this. And we want to bring it back into the community to then hopefully pass it on to the next generation. Yeah. And so it lives, so it breathes and it exists, it's just got to. It's probably been the best you know, move that we could ever make, you know, because we, we just, we know we couldn't do what we wanted to do in the UK. We knew that we had adventure left in us.
I, I do recall a few people telling us we was rather irresponsible. Yeah. Um, yeah. To do this, and and they're probably right. We was probably very irresponsible. But at the end of the day, if you don't do it, you're never going to know. Un, deux, trois. <laughs> it's amazing what they've done, absolutely amazing. And the woodwork that Ted's done, it's incredible. If this was in England, they wouldn't be able to move for restrictions and paperwork, and you can't do this, you can't do that. So it's wonderful to have, you know, the freedom to do it the way you want to do it, but at the same time bring back, you know, all the wonderful heritage and everything, and they're fantastic for them. So we are now four years in and have accomplished so much, but there is still so much to do. If you would like to help support our journey, then please see the links in the description to our Patreon page or the Buy Me A Coffee page. Your support is greatly received. Don't forget, like, subscribe and hit the thumbs up and you'll get notifications of every time we upload a new video. Thank you so much for taking this journey with us. See you soon. <laughs>